Here's a trade example. This is a out of the money call diagonal spread in capital one ticker symbol C O F. Uh, we've had this trade on for about 30 days. Uh, the underlying has not really moved uh, in the favor of the uh, long option that we had purchased and um, we had sold a uh, 75 call against a 70 call out in uh, December. So here's an example of how this trade works. We bought a call that expires out in December. We sold a call um, at a higher strike price that expires um, a couple of months before our long option. So the long option uh, we paid a debit for and we sold a call which we collected credit and uh, that credit went to uh, towards reducing cost of this trade. So as we can see the 75 call we had on uh, we originally sold it for uh, 265 and um, now this uh, call is going for about 42 cents. So a couple of things we can do here. Um, as it stands right now, this trade is showing about a 15% return on risk. Our cost in this trade was uh, $6.05. Uh, so per one contract, we paid six oh five. Uh, this uh, contract is now worth uh, about uh, $700. So not a, a massive winner, but winner nonetheless, considering the fact that um, when we put this trade on, I believe uh, COF was trading somewhere around 70. So it hasn't really moved anywhere. Had we just bought a long call, uh, this trade would have been a loser. Uh, but because we sold a call, to uh, help finance the uh, long option and the uh, short option uh, has decayed over the last 30 days. Uh, that's what really helped this trade uh, to turn a profit. So one of two ways we can adjust this trade. Uh, one, the simplest is to uh, close the trade and take a profit and move on. Number two, we can consider closing out the 75 a uh, call that we sold for a $43 debit and that will leave us with about $648 worth of risk in this trade if we wanted to cut this risk in half or about so we can look to sell another call uh, in the um, October 2nd expiration uh, we could bring in about $2.88 and this will reduce our cost basis for uh, this trade down to about $360. So this will reduce our cost in this trade by about 50%. And this is what the adjusted trade uh, risk profile will look like. So for as long as uh, COF stays somewhere around that 70, 71 level, uh, this trade is going to do well if we see a move to the upside say um capital one starts to move towards 78 80 level uh, this trade does have upside risk so we need to be aware of that same thing on the downside um, if the stock starts to sell off and we see a move down to about 66 65 level this is where this trade is going to start to um, be under pressure and we potentially need to make either further adjustments or just um, cut it and move on. I think we're going to take the path of least resistance. We're just going to take a profit and move on. But I just wanted to um, put this out there to show you how uh, making small adjustments could potentially reduce risk and keep us in the trade longer, uh, potentially earning uh, additional profits.